So what's very special about our group is that we were friends before this group took place and we were connected. Uh, in different ways, mm -hmm. the fact that we all work together, but how that in itself made it already a safe space and how appealing that was yeah. to think yeah. that we were going to have something set apart mm -hmm. where we could talk mm -hmm. about things and we didn't even have to put, you know, how groups come together and they have group rules. Mm -hmm. Like, this is what safety no looks rules. like. <laughs> there are no rules. I think there was an assumed <laughs> safety about it, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And that, because the next day everybody's returning back to the yes, same place. Right. But I, th right. it never had to be discussed. Because it's just through love. I mean, we just, yes. Yes. like I just think I've experienced such loving moments with yes. each of you and vulnerability yeah. and, um, mm -hmm. and so you just know it's safe because yeah. you share that and you have a love with each other and you right. feel loved back and right. so you know I can be myself and I can express my thoughts whether they might seem ignorant or they right. might seem That's the totally on or right. you can ask hard questions right. that you couldn't ask right. other people mm -hmm. because you know that it's through love and that we all want to grow from it. Because there's times where I'm like do I say this or do I not yes. but if I'm gonna say it anywhere <laughs> I could say it here. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Because yes. you guys all know me. I didn't know what to expect. I don't think we all knew what to expect from this amazing blessing. Mm -hmm. Having Having a venue like this where you can be yourself mm -hmm. and you can just say okay I'm struggling with this mm -hmm. help me out here like for me I like before I came here it was just Rome and Shannon I really came to appreciate okay I know my side of the, of the picture mm -hmm. but I never really heard the other side I, I mean I assumed that I mm -hmm. read about it I'm like okay but I never really heard from you know my white friend here <laughs> So what role does this group play in your life as oh far as uh, like the blinders off? I love when Melissa said that, like you kind of get your, helping those fall and then what role does it play in your consideration as you move through life? Not only as a believer, but just because you're in relationship with each Such other. Such joy. It's just, it was, I mean, it's such a God thing because, I mean, it's like he's encouraged me just to branch out in areas that are uncomfortable. So I'm intentionally um, putting myself in situations that are uncomfortable, mm -hmm. shopping in different places, um, being exposed to humanity mm -hmm. and, and not my own bubble. I just thought this would never happen because I'm such a recluse. I'm such an introvert. Mm -hmm. I don't trust anyone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and for me, it was stepping out with Shannon mm -hmm. and then Veronica. So. so that moves to a part, you know, we talk about that a lot, about the importance of confession. Like coming to the table and saying, okay, so here's my ignorance yeah. and all of its mm -hmm. vulnerability, mm -hmm. and I'm going to say some things, and it might be possibly offensive. Mm -hmm. So how do you know with this group, how did you know that it would be okay to do that? You know, you hear a lot about people say they want to learn and they want to grow and they want to be a part of this conversation and I think it's kind of trendy right now mm -hmm. to want to right. talk about race reconciliation and come to the table and let's make these steps toward each other but I think what's different about this group is people keep showing up. I'm so careful when I get into these conversations mm -hmm. lately because then everybody jumps on this bandwagon and then yep. so then I start thinking okay I can be vulnerable and then I share something and then they'll look at me and I'll be like ooh Okay, not as safe as I thought. Right. It's nice to have this conversation with people that I work with and see on a daily basis because it makes me feel like I can be myself at work. Mm -hmm. To not have to feel like I have to be somebody else mm -hmm. or put on a different persona when I go to work every day. That's just nice to be like free. I think, and I'm pretty sure that the whole fact that we are believers is what has taken this yes. to a whole different level. I love this fact that, you know, first and foremost, we are sisters in Christ, and then after that, it's just, Amen. I love the differences. That's what mm -hmm. makes it work. Though. Yeah. Right. And having it, I mean, you can read American history and cry at the injustice mm -hmm. that occurred, but when it's like your sister in yeah. Christ that mm -hmm. you adore, who you've cried with and you've prayed with and who's loved you, and you just, you feel it in a different way. Right. This is the epitome of what pure joy. Like, so this is pure joy. Pure joy is when you have an experience, the intent, the impact matches the intent, and then there's this residual right. rippling, mm -hmm. right? Like you don't want it to end. But you got to go. <laughs> you got to have more. Oh, you got to go, speak. but you don't want to let it go. <laughs> right. right. So thus the name, what is our name? Pure, pure joy. joy. Absolutely.